everyone, this is Sinful Heart, and I'm back with yet another video that is related to Malicious. This time it's the final game of the series, Malicious Fallen. For those who don't know or are unfamiliar with this game, Malicious Fallen is kind of like uh, a port slash remake slash sequel all in one, which explains the reason for its price on the PlayStation Network store for $30. The PS3 version and Vita version is less than that. For those who are new, here is how I can describe it. You play as a slayer, and your role is to destroy the malicious that is threatening the world. In order to face the malicious, you must defeat the bosses that are in your way. Similar to Mega Man, when you defeat a boss, you are rewarded with their power and upgrades to help you with the tougher battles ahead. There is a new story involved, but just like the Vita version, you have to play the first story and then the second story in order to unlock it. Due to how the events are tied together, that's the reason why you have to go in that order. Malicious Fallen is the most recent one. <laughs> Malicious Fallen is just as beautiful as ever. It looked gorgeous the first time around on the PS3 version. Now it looks even more better than before. It has upgraded to 60 frames per second and it uses the control from the Vita version. They have changed the bosses again. Some have new moves and it seems like they extended their HP compared to some of the bosses back on the Vita. One of the most notable changes I have experienced is having to deal with the Mad Queen and the Malicia towards the end of the Rebirth story. The Mad Queen is even more deadly than before. As you just saw, your character loses two limbs just from that attack alone. One more limb missing and it's over. She also stuns you a lot more than before. For those who are familiar with my video guides for this boss back in Malicious Rebirth, the same strategy can be used here, but don't be afraid to heal yourself. And you also have new costumes to help you out with these tougher boss battles. S ranking is more forgiving this time around, and while I'm on the subject of healing, for those who have collected all the trophies from the previous games will be glad to know that the no repair trophy has been removed from this version of the game. I still try not to heal as much, but when the bosses are highly aggressive, and will destroy you faster, healing yourself is not as punishable when it comes to S ranking. It only makes sense that when getting higher ranks they decide to be a little more forgiving, especially with how the bosses have upgraded from the previous games. As mentioned before, there are old and new costumes in this version as well. They all have different attributes to them, allowing you to pick what kind of playstyle you want to go with. The new sections of the game are Pursuit and Demise. Pursuit is just a challenge mode where you have to delete the malicious that is waiting at the bottom of the abyss. You are also given buffs to help you out, but it can be a real challenging experience. It is not necessary to complete that part in order to move on to the new story. Demise is the new story, and the new bosses will be there too. Malicious Fallen has been an interesting experience. My only complaint was how one of the bosses in the Rebirth story was upgraded way too much. To me, it's like, why is this boss so difficult to the point that it takes up the entire time limit to defeat it, while the other bosses were just fine and manageable? I thought I mentioned that for those who are familiar with the previous games or are new to this game. You're going to get frustrated with certain bosses, so be prepared for a lot of trial and error. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my gaming channel, Gaming Affection.